Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. So far we have added aggregation commands as per our requirement we have added match, project, add fill, sort, unwind, group. Now after that, after doing all the things, we get some data at the end that is count is 3. So now what we want, we want to use this in our project, in, a, in any project. So we have to create pipeline. And to create pipeline, we can see here, we have here option, export pipeline code to language. So we can click here. Now here you can see we have Java, Node.js, C Sharp, Python. These four languages are supported here. So let's see if you are selecting Node.js. By default, it will be unticked. By default, you will see only these things. Node.js and here we have these all pipelines. So whatever code we have written so far, that is visible here one by one and then you can if you want you can include driver syntax or if you are working from scratch then you can use import statement so all the import statement plus driver syntax will be added here so you can see now import statement added here after that we have this driver statement also added just you need to copy this in your node.js project and um, you can run from there only you need to install mongodb driver in your node.js project now similar to that if you want to select node java project you will select here all the java related code will be available here just you have to use this and then you can run your project similar thing you can do with python all the code related to python will be available you can directly use this to your project so usually whenever we work with real project we don't need to include this we have to only copy these things and then we can ready to go this is about creating pipeline and also you can save this these commands using save button you can give here pipeline name so that next time you can directly use this so i can write here demo pipeline i have saved this demo pipeline and next time whenever you will come here you can open demo pipeline from here you can click on document and then you will see this one just click open it will automatically show you at this place and then you can see the output Thank you so much. Hope you have enjoyed MongoDB tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will use MongoDB with our Node.js and ExpressJS project to, to use the, these things in API.